Hi, I'm Gabe Cantor with uh, Strata Clean Energy. Uh, the cost of storage has been pretty volatile uh, lately. We've got a lot of different um, uh, drivers of this volatility. There's uh, the war in Russia, which has put a squeeze on the nickel supply. Um, there's issues with um, with uh, some other raw materials that go into um, the um, the batteries, and um, and then there's also demand. Uh, so a huge amount of demand from uh, electric vehicle segment um, is kind of squeezing out storage. Uh, I remain optimistic that uh, the uh, storage, stationary storage uh, deployments are going to continue to accelerate, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that uh, how that happens. Uh, I think in some cases the, uh, uh, the the costs for the services that the uh, the storage systems provide are going to have to increase in order to, to um, uh, allow the, uh, the the storage systems to continue to, to uh, be deployed. Hi, I'm Benjamin. Low. I'm a principal at Roland Berger in our U.S. energy and utilities practice. I think we've, we're in a time frame now where I think energy storage can be cost competitive. I think there are a lot of questions with respect to the supply chain and how, you know, prices might shake out in the near term. But I think for specific use cases, we're already seeing it being cost effective, particularly for lithium technologies. We're waiting to see how other longer duration technologies become cost competitive. Um, but I think the, the story is it's ready for us here and now.